How's everybody doing? Back again. Uh, it's been a little while. I've been looking for work lately, dealing with a lot of bullshit out here, but keeping my my vibe, keeping my energy, feeling really good. Um, I was just thinking, well, lately I've been thinking about um, repeating patterns and um, repeating toxic patterns and how to break out of that and um, yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna get into that but before I do I just want to say um, if you could make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already you know share this video with you know whoever um, it would help me a lot so thank you for that um, yeah, so we live in a world, <laughs> like it's some sort of movie trailer or something. So <laughs> we live in a world where a lot of people are pretty much everyone you're going to meet are stuck in these toxic patterns. It's a curse that has been put on society. Um, it goes back far and it's very deep. And um, in this generation, um, it's so toxic, it's so easy to see. You don't even have to um, do any magical work per se to see this shit. But, you know, if you do delve into this path, you are going to see it very clearly. Um, the cliff off will help you see this very clearly. Um, I was just thinking uh, not that long ago about how shitty my roommates were last year when I first moved in moved into this place um, I had five roommates I'm pretty sure yeah four that were guys that all kind of reminded me of different people from my past and one who was just a crazy fucking female just out of her fucking mind um, I don't know if she, she didn't really remind me of anyone from my past, but man, she was toxic as all hell. Um, so, and yeah, even earlier I was thinking about how people, um, they, they go to what they know. They go to what they're used to, whether or not that's toxic. And it usually is, you know what I'm saying? So that's why, you know, people in relationships, like if they've been abused once, they're going to attract abusers and they're also going to feel more comfortable around abusers because that's what they've been conditioned to expect. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I really didn't, I'm not really thinking about making this video. Oh, how do you avoid this stuff? You know what? I could tell you guys exactly what to fucking do and it's not going to connect in your head and in your heart and your body until you energetically change yourself. That's, I think I was talking about something similar to this in one of my last videos for sure. Like this stuff isn't about, oh, I learned this stuff and here's my top 10 tips. I can tell you that stuff and yeah, like you could, you know, depending on who you are and where you're at, you could definitely um, learn from that and apply some of the things I have to say, but you have to have an under have an inner standing. And I don't really like that terminology, just m mostly because the people that use it. But it it does um, it does have some some uh, application. So you really have to just. Um, you know, this is why I don't like to give advice really anymore because there's so many different ways to do this, you know, um, you don't, I don't even know if you have to initiate through the clip off, but, or consciously, but I think if you are going to get to a point where you are, have dealt with these things, you are going to end up going into this realm, these, these hellish realms, because that's where you're fucking your soul is split up and and your psyche is split up 
and um, that's how they get you. Shame. Shame is a big one. Trying to fit in. Fear of being alone. Family is a big one too. Because people, you know, there's a lot of toxic families and people think, oh, my mom loves me. My family loves me. They always helped me with money and made sure I didn't need this or that. But emotionally, it's all fucked up. It's all fucked up. And if you're ignoring that, you're ignoring your own flaws. So you can't do one thing without doing the other. Um, I see it all over the place. And this is not me trying to stand on a high horse and talk shit to people. It's just really, we have a lot of work to do as a community, as a collective. We have a lot of work to do. So I think one really big step, if you are looking to do this, is just understanding like, I'm in a very toxic system. I'm in a very toxic environment. Regardless if your family and friends aren't that bad. You know, America is full of toxic ass people. They're so self-centered in the worst ways. Materialism, fucking judgmental, close-minded. It, it, all that shit runs rampant, man. And then people are lonely. And then that manifests in all sorts of weird ways. So you got to get centered and you got to look at yourself and just and understand that you can do it. You know, this is a, a game, you know, that we're um, able to win. You know, this is all this stuff is happening for a reason. So, um, yeah, but if you're just going around looking for um, tips and tricks from other people, then you're fucking being dumb. Stop being dumb. You know, I, there's not a whole lot I can say. What I could do is I can, I can kind of pass energy along. You know, it's better to just listen to this, just to listen to me, just to feel this energy than to even consciously, you know, try to understand what I'm saying. That's why like arguments aren't really worth it. With most people i got this uh fool's gold pyrite i think it's called i've been trying to i've been trying to, to get some money man it's like the more healthy i become the le the less attractive i am to unhealthy systems and they put all sorts of weird labels and stuff on me and think that i'm this way or that way but i really don't like I don't really give a fuck, but I'm, I'm not gonna lie, like it's still stressful, don't get me wrong, but I'm not really that worried about it because if I was going to end up homeless or dead or whatever, it would already happen by now. These spirits don't invest into things that they're not gonna get a return on investment on. That's just not how smart beings operate. That's how stupid people operate. Invest into something and throw it away. That's what stupid people do. That's what Americans do. <laughs> so, yeah, I've got this cool energy of like, fuck everybody, but I'm also, it's also like, I love everybody. And that's kind of what you have to do. You have to become paradoxical because that is the nature of reality. Very paradoxical. If you get stuck on one um, specific point of energy, that's where you get stuck in some bullshit. And you see it all the time. I've seen it so much. That's why I'm, I outgrow a lot of people. I was thinking about that last night too. Like I've met so many people where we click and then a year goes by or two years go by or whatever. Um, and then we're just totally different. You know, it used to take a lot longer and this kind of ties into the whole original thing that this video was supposed to be about, which is cool. Um, I noticed this with people like, I'll click with someone, you know, and um, we start talking and then it's like, they're just kind of, then we're all of a sudden we're like arguing and um, it's like, we're talking two different languages and then I, and then usually they start offending me and I'm not like, 
I'm not like a bitch or anything. I can take like some serious shit, but I don't take disrespect. So I've seen this quite a few times and, and it's shortening. So this is, this is alchemy, you know, this is what it is, these repeating patterns. Like you have to revisit things. And um, even if you um, seemingly like defeat something, like you might revisit it again. It's just, it's like, uh, it's like game plus in video games or some shit like that. But it's, it's different. It's different because it, get, it gets a lot shorter when you, um, it's not like the enemies or whatever are leveling up so much. It's like you're leveling up and they're staying the same or even getting weaker, I noticed. But, uh, yeah, I was going to say one more thing, like, I was thinking about alchemy and, um, I don't know. I, that's probably going to be it. Um, but yeah, let me know. You know, if you are trying to talk to me or something, is Twitter like a shitty way to reach me? Should I make an email? I probably will anyways, but uh, I just been kind of lazy with that shit. But if you want to talk to me and consult about some of these darker initiations or just about kind of like life coaching shit in general, um, if you want to kind of try to embody the philosophy that I live by, you know, always feel free to hit me in the DMs on Twitter, at TrendMage, just like my name on here. Um, that's the best place for me. Um, but yeah, if it's like, if you like hate Twitter or whatever, I don't blame you. So let me know if it's kind of annoying and I'll see what I can do. Because I want to start talking to some of you guys. And I'm doing this, I want to do this for free right now. You know, I always like to be tipped, but I want, I'd rather do it for free than not do it at all. So it's like, hit me the fuck up. Because we need to start building these communities and start meeting different people that are focused on the same thing. Because there's too many people, there's too many people that are gatekeepers and they're narcissists, psychopaths, sociopaths, and they are the ones building communities and they're doing all sorts of shitty stuff. So I wanna, I wanna do this kind of cult-like shit, but, but with a group of people who are you know, focused on bettering themselves and the world around them. So hit me up, thank you for watching, um, thank you for subscribing and liking and all that shit, and I'll see you on the next one.